Now these are called special forms. This is a difference of square. So you have something squared minus something else squared becomes product of the sum and the difference. And this is a difference of cube. That's the formula and the sum of the cube. That's the formula. Now to apply these, you may have situations where you have something like 26 a squared minus 36 b squared equals zero. So here what you need to observe is the fact that 25 is actually five squared and that 36 is actually six squared, which means I can rewrite this as five a all of it squared minus six b all of it squared. And now this fits into this particular pattern, which means that I get five a minus six b and 5a plus 6b equals 0. So you need to be aware of how to use this formula even if you have numbers in front of them. The same holds for this particular example. So for example, let's say I have 8x cubed plus 1, say equals 0. Now I notice that 8 is actually 2 cubed. The fact that I have an x cubed means that it's probably one of these formulas that I need to use. So I can rewrite this as x cubed and I can rewrite 1 as 1 cubed because 1 cubed is just 1 times 1 times 1 which is 1. And now I plug it into this formula. So I have 2x plus 1. The second term you want to be careful. It's x squared which means it's whatever is inside the parenthesis squared. So it's actually 2x squared and then it's 2x times 1 and then it's 1 squared. And you can simplify that a little bit. 2x squared is 4x squared. 2x times 1 is 2x and 1 squared is so that's it. If you know the formula and you can make certain observations about numbers, you just plug and chuck and you, that's called a special form of factoring.